Okay, so now in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the saxophone in its entirety. I will start with a quick review of uh, reed, ligature, and mouthpiece, and neck, how to assemble that. And then we'll put the thing together, and I'll end with how you're going to hold the saxophone, like where you're going to put your hands, okay? So you're going to want to maybe follow along with this video a few times until you memorize the whole process, and you don't need me to walk you through it, okay? So let's get to it. Okay, so now I'll walk through the different parts of the saxophone real quick. I'll put an image up here that you can follow along with, and I'll hold these things up. So we've seen the mouthpiece. Um, we're going to need a ligature, which is going to look like that, or some people, you look like that too. Okay, the neck here, the neck with the cork on top. All right, and then the rest of the saxophone, which is in my lap. I'm just going to call this the body of the saxophone, and it's got keys on it. Okay, something that's going to come in handy later is the thumb rest here, which is kind of on the back of the body. Okay, same deal here. There's a rest for the other thumb. Some have a little pearl like mine. Um, some have a little black spot. Some have a little button there. Okay, so you're going to, that's where our left thumb is going to go eventually. On top of that is the octave key, but we don't need to know quite about that yet. Okay, so let's put this thing together. Okay, so before we start putting the saxophone together, there's a couple things that we should do first. First, we're going to take our reed out of the reed clip. Okay, we're going to soak that in our mouth. Just like that. Because the reed needs to be wet for us to play. Okay, and you'll get used to that. So, the other thing is I'm going to put my neck strap on right away. And I'm going to tighten that up pretty good. Because we're going to find that it needs to be pretty tight. You know, don't choke yourself with it. But, okay. So, I'm wetting my reed in my mouth. I'm actually going to put it to the side just for the sake of the video. But... <clears throat> um, and we can start assembling the saxophone. So first off, we have the mouthpiece and the neck, all right? The mouthpiece is going to go on the neck with a slight twist so that it looks kind of like a goose neck, okay? So we want to make sure the flat part of that mouthpiece down here is facing down, okay? Another thing you can look for is a lot of saxophones have this kind of little rib on it, and you can follow that up, all right? So it should look like this. If it doesn't, fix it. All right, next, let's attach that reed, which we've been soaking in our mouth, I hope, to the mouthpiece. Focus here, look at this. There's a flat part of the mouthpiece and a curved part. Same with the, the reed. There's a flat part and a curved part on the other side there. We're gonna attach the flat parts of each of these together, like this, so they're sitting neatly on each other. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hold one thumb on it, and with the other finger, hand, I'm going to kind of make sure that it's nice and straight like that. Let's see if I can turn it around here. Okay, so it should look like this before we go farther. And the other thing is you're going to want to look for that sliver of black at the top, if you can see here. See that sliver of black? It's a little bit of mouthpiece up there. So we don't want this. The reed can't come up over the top of the mouthpiece. Nope, it's not going to work, okay? And it can't go too low like that, and it won't work that way either, okay? So we want to just see a little sliver of black at the top. That's how you know you've set it up correct. Okay, now for the ligature, I'm just going to make sure that my, my screws are facing to my right, okay? And I'm going to be very careful, and I'm going to place my ligature over that mouthpiece. See, it kind of moved a little bit. That's why I like to hold my thumb. And it should kind of look like this. And then from there, I'm going to tighten my ligature, okay? So it will look like this, okay? Now, I also wanted to make sure I have a demonstration of the other kind of ligature there, the metal ligature, where the screws go on the bottom. Still, if I look down at it, the screws are facing the right. Okay, so now we can continue. All right, so next, I'm going to take the body of the saxophone, and I'm going to look for the little hoop for the neck strap, which will kind of look like that. Okay, it's on the back of the saxophone, so it's back here. Okay, and I'm going to, before I do anything, I'm going to attach that to my neck strap so that I don't drop it. You're gonna be careful all the time. You drop these, they will break. All right, the next part's easy. I'm gonna take my fully assembled neck mouthpiece ligature, and I'm just gonna place that in the top of the saxophone here with a slight twist, all right? And you should see that it's lining up here with the back of the saxophone. So there's that little thumb rest there that I was showing you earlier. It's kind of lined up. So the saxophone fully assembled will look like this, okay? And I should be able to hold it right in front of me. 
All right, let me turn to the side here. All right, it'll look like that. Good. All right, next, I'm just gonna show you where you're gonna put your thumbs and you can practice wrapping your fingers around. We'll make sure we know exactly where the fingers go next time, okay? So look, my left hand is always on top. Left hand on top, right hand on bottom. The thumb of my left hand is gonna touch that pearl or some people have a little black spot there, all right? And it's gonna kinda, it's like it's facing the two on the clock, okay? It's like almost looking at two, two o'clock, all right? There's my left hand, and then back down here, let me raise it so you can see here, I'm gonna find my thumb rest, all right? Or thumb hook, and my right thumb is gonna go underneath that, like this. Let me turn it around here, flip it around, just like that, okay? From there, my fingers kinda just wrap around and find the keys, okay? All right, for now, that'll work, all right? And you could just start to maybe blow into the saxophone a little bit without pressing down any keys. And what I would do is just practice holding that note for a while, all right? And trying to make sure you're comfortable with a good posture. And, uh, and from there on out, you're gonna, get, you're gonna be ready to start learning notes and, and playing some real music. So here we go, all right? Remember, practice this video as many times as you need until you memorize these steps and you can do them. And you, maybe you could teach it to your friend. That's when you know you're, you're really good at it, okay? So good luck. You know where to find me. Thank you.